What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering edit. Barely! Ooh, it took less than 12 hours for us to be reminded that beautiful women lead to problematic scenarios. I don't know what it would be like uh, to be forced to be offended by everything. It must be one of the most deeply unfulfilling existences on the planet but for whatever reason wherever scarlett johansson goes people follow her and whinge and cry about everything she does now if you remember back i don't remember exactly how long ago it was but where scarlett johansson had to drop out and was you know basically had to apologize sorry for taking a role as a transgender person because I don't know. She was taking roles away from this hypothetical person that had her chops in acting and her resume and could hold up the scene just as good as Scarlett Johansson. She's also taken flack for depicting uh, for her doing ghosts in the shell. It's all ridiculous. It's such a convenient thing of offense convenience where it's like, oh, well, you a straight white woman took a job from somebody who isn't straight and white. But when somebody, let's say, for example, who is not straight, takes a job in Hollywood like anyone else would because, you know, it is their job. Nobody's out there saying, oh, the gays are taking away all the jobs from the straight people. It's the ridiculous double standard that falls apart the second you poke even one hole in it. But Scarlett Johansson, look, you're an actor. It's your job to do just that, to act. But for whatever reason it is, I think she takes a lot of flack because she doesn't necessarily bend the knee. You see hit pieces like this where it's like, well, she apologized for this, but she defended Woody Allen, which isn't exactly a good look. Um, but here we go again with the Black Widow. Now, Avengers Endgame had the exact same fake outrage. Oh my god, somebody made a fat joke in current year. It's problematic, where every other word is capitalized or whatever it is. You see articles like how the Avengers, how Avengers Endgame failed Black Widow. Black Widow's Endgame arc plays into one of the oldest and grossest tropes in comics. By the way, really? Really? I just talked about this yesterday, that Black Widow, that scene between Black Widow and Hawkeye, where they're literally fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat for who can sacrifice themselves, is seriously, for me, the most memorable part of that entire three-hour movie. I know I'm not the only one who agrees. Black Widow sacrificed herself because... The world needed it because her family needed it. One of the easily the bravest decision in that movie. What exactly is bad? When I say fridging, I'm referring to the infamous comic book trope, The Woman in the Refrigerator, turned by comic book writer Gail Simone, who's a crazy person on Twitter. Green Lantern's girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. Aja Romano and Alex Abad Santos explain why the one in the refrigerator is such a troubling trope. Um, essentially, when we say that female character has been fridged, we're saying that she has been treated like an object who has less human worth than the men around her. She is valuable to the extent that her pain can motivate them. Absolutely ridiculous. One of the biggest reaches I've ever heard about the character. I don't need to go in again what it takes to have somebody with the ultimate survival instincts, like all of these people in Avengers, and you have this person leaping to their end to save the world. Yeah, what a total object. Nobody out there is talking about how they remember how brave it was. Oh, wait, I, I was. I'm sure I'm just the only one. Now let's talk about the fat joke in the Black Widow trailer. This is the exact same article. This is what's so hilarious. It's the exact same article these morons wrote. Is it the same person? Oh, that would have been even better. Remember Fat Thor? And it was problematic. 
Look at all these articles that came out. Fat Thor is problematic. What if Fat Thor isn't as problematic? The big fat problem with Avengers Endgame. Why Thor is Avengers Endgame storyline is problematic. What's up with Fat Thor and Avengers? Problematic character in Avengers? Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Yes, the fat jokes are problematic. No, they're not. You get that that's how normal humans talk. And you also get that Thor's fat jokes are not the Avengers making fun of someone for being fat. It's funny because it's Thor. You get that, right, Mary Sue? You understand that it's funny because among the most physically fit human and otherwise specimens on the planet, Thor has a beer belly. That's the joke. It's not about Joe, John Q. Public or Jane Q. Public being overweight. It's context. It's something that normally gets removed from things when you are trying to be outraged about something. When you read this, it's ridiculous. There's a point in Endgame where we met up with Thor, the god of thunders, lost his parents in short order, watched Thanos, blah, 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 in Endgame. Thor's trauma and distress manifest in his retreat. Yes, oh, he's so, he's so sad. Given the prominent beer belly, he's introduced with his shirt off and his belly out in an obvious attempt at parroting Chris Hemworth's customary shirtless scenes. If only it ended there. Then the big reveal of Thor is much of his characterization in Endgame. The Asgardian is in a fat suit and or enhanced by bad effects. The problem isn't the depiction of Thor having gained weight, but the relentless and cruel way that Endgame treats it as if something to be mocked worse than the most worse than the worst schoolyard bully. Again, only an absolute smooth brain would think they're mocking fat people TM. They're mocking a superhero, the god of thunder, for being out of shape. What's wrong with that? That's the joke. While a passing joke would have felt disappointing for a major movie, you might understand how it squeaked by. The fact that there is an ongoing theme throughout just baffles me. Countless production hours are poured into the creation of something like Endgame. This means, and again, and again, and again, and again, many people sign off making fat Thor jokes. They were funny. There were probably a few too many of them, but that's exactly how those people would have reacted. It's called being normal. I mean... When you write for the Mary Sue, I can't imagine you're a normal person, or at least that you find yourself in a normal headspace often. Uh, and it's 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 obvious when you literally have the exact same article now about Black Widow trailer. Let's talk about the fat joke in the Black Widow trailer. Marvel has had an interesting relationship with their male characters gaining weight. I say male because it's seemingly only men who are allowed to gain weight. <laughs> now it's that the Black Widow and the female characters of the Avengers are being oppressed because they're not allowed to be the butt of a joke. But by the way, if they were, then all of a sudden you'd be writing an article like, Oh, shocking, shocking, the Avengers a fat shame women and it's worse than when it happens to men because women when alexi tries on his red guardian suit melina makes a comment about him getting fat we don't know how much about these characters in relationship but including this line in the trailer seems like a strange choice why it's funny it worked for fat thor and by the way it's something that i know i'm gonna throw another word out there that you probably don't know or hear very often it's relatable Look, I have battled my weight many times. It's been a lifelong battle for me. And working from home hasn't helped. But I, too, when I lost weight, I put on a smaller pair of jeans. I was like, ha-ha, still fits, even though they were obviously too tight. It's just a relatable aside joke. It's called self self-deprecating it's something most normal people can relate to um considering that marvel has had an interesting relationship with making jokes about weight gain when it concerns their male characters let's look at avengers endgame and thor when he clearly struggling with the losing his brother and seeing himself as a failure for not being able to defeat thanos thor came back into the world of the avengers looking differently and clearly struggling with his own depression and his own idea of self-worth that was an interesting character arc, but also source of jokes flowing on the heels of Infinity War poking fun at Star-Lord's body. So what? That's how normal people talk. I mean, Thor was mocked, yes, and we had our concerns about that. But now this is real. 
Imagine if that joke were aimed at Natasha. I'm sorry. He was still, I suppose, Fat Thor in the end, and he didn't get his defined abs back the minute he discovered he was still worthy. That being said, Thor was given that journey, and it seemed as if Alexi is going to be given the chance to be slightly bigger than the typical Marvel man because, well, he's a man. <laughs> Start the petition right now. We need more fat chicks in Avengers. That's what this art that's the point of this article is that he's lucky to be fat and mocked. You have to pick a lane, Mary Sue. Is it problematic that they're making fun of him? Or is it a problem because they're not allowing the women to be fat either? Or if they had fat women, would you then be whining about the jokes poked at fat women? It's it's like you these articles could be auto-generated. Imagine if the joke were aimed at Natasha. She probably wouldn't have actually gained any weight. She'd probably still be just as small and skinny as Scarlett Johansson is. But that's how Hollywood works. Women can't have that growth. We can't be fat. Really? Mike and Molly was one of the biggest shows on television for many years. And it followed around a married couple who were both gigantic and fat. How about Roseanne, one of the most popular comedies in television history, starred two people, a man and a woman, who were both fat. And that was the joke. These people live in a bubble. They've never watched anything real. Come to the Midwest where everybody's fat. All right, and we all make jokes about it. I walk around, and I go outside without a jacket, and I go outside, while, you know, for a smoke break or something. I'm like, I don't need a jacket. I wear my jacket everywhere I go. Or I don't have a six pack. I've got a keg. That's normal people. Normal people aren't offended by it. We know we're fat. Are you joking? With Alexi, oh sure, Thor had quite a few jokes aimed at him, but in the end, it was still a journey. With Alexi, we don't know what his future of the Black Widow holds for him, but I feel as if him being, quote, bigger is not going to be his complete character arc. Very few times in films and television do we see, quote, bigger women represented. I, what? Are you joking? What about the, the big girl, the Australian girl from all those dance movies? She's a super huge mega star. Again, Roseanne. How about Mike and Molly? We have no shortage of fat men and fat women on TV. Let's be real. But, you know, when you're the Mary Sue, you've got to be upset about it. And here you go. Copy pasta. Lol. Mary Sue. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.